Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a Mercury retrograde reading for you, an energy shift reading. Now, I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, danehartarot.com. It's located in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Gemini, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Fantastic. Let me just make sure everything is in frame. Yay, it is. <laughs> That's always good news. Okay. Let me just fix my mic, which I just hit. So sorry about any crinkling of sound. All right. So let's see what Spirit has to say. And if you're interested in a free reading and entering to receive a free reading, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment a butterfly. You'll be put in the running. And yeah, a free reading will be announced. The winner of the free reading will be announced at random. So keep your eyes open for that. Hit the bell notification. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is Enhance Reverse. During this Mercury retrograde, it can be very overwhelming for us because we don't feel like we're being enhanced. We actually feel like we're being diminished during this time. That's not necessarily the case, but again, there's so much chaos going on that it is a, a logical way to, to feel about the situation or to interpret the situation. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. And here we have holistic health. This retrograde can be so stressful, stressful for us, and it goes from the 5th to the 5th of August to the to the 9th of September. Okay. But we have the, the shift in, in, in where Mercury is. So Mercury is going to be in Virgo from August 5th to the 13th. And then it's going to shift into Leo from August 13th to the 9th. And that is just going to mess with us. So being aware of that, that it can make us feel like, you know, just completely stressed out. All I want to do is eat a big carton of ice cream, you know, sit on the couch, be left alone, not take care of myself, not listen to my body. That's going to be the energy that comes in. So just know that there's a blockage in our root chakra during this time. If we tap our tailbone, tap our kidneys, you know, for two minutes at most, just a little bit can really help to soothe us, really help to release negative energy, you know, chaotic energy. That's going to be a very good thing for us. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels we're going to want validation okay and during this mercury retrograde especially the latter part of the mercury retrograde the part where it's in leo it will be a lot more difficult for us to get the validation from others and to feel like people are showing up for us so just be mindful about this this can make us feel very discouraged the only person that really needs to show up for us 
is us. So being aware of that energy is going to be important. Okay. So we are crowned here by the three of cups. I love that. I love that for you, Gemini. We then have the nine of cups. Oh, that's beautiful. Interesting that it's to be mindful of here. And then it comes forward so beautifully here. We then have the fool reversed. We have the, okay, the six of wands reversed and the five of cups reversed. Okay, that makes sense. The seven of pentacles, the 10 of swords reversed, the queen of swords reversed, mm -hmm. the, the empress reversed, the four of wands reversed, and then the six of swords. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. We are ruled by Mercury, right? So when Mercury is in retrograde, it's, it's harder for us than it is for other signs. And Mercury is a speedy planet. It goes into retrograde often. So it, it can play with us. It can mess with us. Being aware of this is going to be important. We need to crown ourselves and surround ourselves with the three of cups. If you have a tarot deck, like taping the three of cups, well, maybe you don't want to ruin your tarot deck, but putting your three of cups in a little frame, taping it up onto your, your bathroom mirror where you can see it every day. It's just that reminder that I'm surrounded by friends. I'm surrounded by loved ones. I'm surrounded by joy that wants to see me succeed. Even if it is simply my angels and my spirit guides, that is going to be so important because we have a tendency during this time and why we are so affected by others. If feeling like others aren't showing up for us is because we can be our own worst enemy. We will say negative things to ourselves. We will, you know, nitpick us. And it really plays off of the energy of this Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde being in Virgo, Virgo is in a, a positive state, is just a very thoughtful, very organized, very, you know, communicative, clarity oriented sign, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's type of energy. But in Mercury retrograde, it morphs, okay? It morphs to obsessive overthinking, Queen of Swords reversed, right? Virgo is also ruled by Mercury, so it's very intensely Mercury-centric, all right? And it's nitpicking. It is stressing out over the littlest of details, and it's almost feeling like nothing is right, so why even bother? So being aware of that. And then when we have the shift of Mercury retrograde being in Leo from the 13th of August to the 9th of September, we go into a very theatrical state of being. You know, Leo is very theatrical, very you know, high natural energy vibration, but in Mercury retrograde, it is the drama queen personified. It is over the top. It is miscommunication, you know, misinterpretation, clashes of egos coming in. It's like everybody wants to be center stage and nobody feels like that. So everybody's throwing a diva, like, you know, meltdown. So just being aware of that energy and that energy for you, Virgo, for you, Virgo, for you, Gemini, is going to be exhausting. The Virgo energy is going to be something where you're like, okay, this feels more like familiar to me. It's like how my trauma and how my, you know, doubt and fear manifest. The Leo aspect of it all takes our, our love for communication, love for being with people, and then almost makes it toxic. So being aware of that, Gemini, is going to be a very important thing. It is going to be a very powerful thing for us. We need to surround ourselves with people that we love. We need to show up to the table for us. There's a wish that's going to be granted that's very small, but it means a lot to us. But because everything else is so intense and heightened, we'll have a tendency during this Mercury retrograde to completely overlook the beautiful things. So just be mindful about that. We're afraid. Okay, there's a lot of fear that's going on here. Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I move forward this way? You know, people said I couldn't. I thought I couldn't once upon a time. And obviously I was right because if I could, I would already be there. It goes on, it goes on, it goes on with this energy of just being overwhelmed. And Spirit is saying, stop. In this Mercury retrograde and in all Mercury retrogrades, words that need to be said come out. Things that we would normally never think of focusing on start coming forward. It's like, oh, well, that needed to be cleansed. That needs to be released. We see it as a bad, bad thing. It is the universe's way of kind of cleaning house and making us clean house emotionally and vibrationally. So if we look at it like that, that's going to be a very good thing for us. We're going to find ourselves empowered and emboldened. We're going to have a hard time celebrating ourselves. All right. So being aware is going to be important. And we're going to have a hard time changing our viewpoint. We can get very stubborn, very fixated, but it has to be like this. It's kind of like if a road is closed and you have to do a detour and you're like, no, but I need to drive down that road. And it's like, well, the road's closed. You have to do a detour. So being aware of this, that that's going to be the energy that we bring to it. It's like, no, it has to be just this route this way and not seeing the detours that spirit is giving us 
seeing the detours is going to make life better and it's going to make us feel better because it's going to also be a bit of an adventure and embracing a bit of spontaneity and fun so instead of looking at it like no it's going against my plans it's like oh wow adventure time you know this is cool we have prosperity coming in but we're also seeing ourselves nurturing our prosperity so this mercury retrograde can be a time where we think oh my gosh it's never going to happen everything is taking too long we tend to think in absolutes during this time and be hypercritical of ourselves so being mindful about that and also knowing that this is a time where we need to celebrate what is important to us, the places that are important to us, the things that we have done that are really great. And we'll have a tendency to, to really think it wasn't good enough. And spirit's like, no, it was. Start celebrating you. Start seeing your successes. Start seeing where you have achieved where others would fail. And really embrace the power of you. This is moving forward in knowledge, slowly and steadily parting the mist and, and starting to see ourselves, starting to see you know what we can achieve, how we can move forward, what we're going after, what we want and embracing that beauty. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message here, which is sustain. We have sustained a lot. We have grown through a lot and we are still growing. We are still sustaining. We are still, you know, we're still moving forward. It doesn't have to be big and fleshy. This Mercury retrograde wants things to be big and fleshy, especially towards the end. Everything has to be just on fire for it to be right. And that is just not healthy. It's just not going to be us. It's not going to be good. It moves us then to our, oh, excuse me, <coughs> our chakra energy. This is the solar plexus chakra reverse. We have a hard time trusting our gut. We have a hard time trusting ourselves during this Mercury retrograde. And we're not going to realize it's the Mercury retrograde because there's going to be two very conflicting energies coming in, right? We don't trust ourselves, which is the Virgo aspect of this Mercury retrograde. And we don't trust the outside people because it's all filled with trauma drama, which is the Leo aspect of this Mercury retrograde. So it's overwhelming. It's intense. It, it overpowers us and it can make our stomach really feel upset. We can find that, you know, we're going more towards comfort foods that we just want to self-soothe during this time because the energy is is quite fierce. Being aware of that, interlac interlacing our fingers like this, okay, and rubbing our stomach in a clockwise motion can help soothe us, can help, you know, soothe our blocked solar plexus channel and can help open up that blockage. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, the sun reversed. When we go into, and when we've gone into this Mercury retrograde and we go into the shift of this Mercury retrograde, we're going to think, oh no, everything's under control. Like it's fine. It's, it's not going to be a big deal. And then it winds up being a big deal. So being aware of this is going to be important. Being aware of us is going to be important. There's a beauty and a light that's going to shine through this Mercury retrograde, but we have to give ourselves permission to, to shine, to step into our light, to step into our happiness and to not overthink, like to not overanalyze ourselves or, you know, doubt ourselves or fear. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message. I love this one. I love that it's going right over the queen of swords reverse where we doubt, where we can be nitpicky, where we can be really cruel to ourselves. And then subconsciously we have the knight of swords. We are being the hero of our own story. And as we are the hero of our own story, we are slaying our dragons. We are, you know, finding our voice. We're finding where it is that we need to be subconsciously we're a lot more active than, than we think we are. And we're moving forward in a lot bigger steps, a lot bigger strides than we, we're giving ourselves credit for. So being aware of this is going to be a really beautiful, really important thing. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. And may you have a safe and productive Mercury retrograde. Bye.